Join us as we journey through our history and traditions together. 1891, UNCG was founded by Dr. Charles Duncan McKeever as a school to train women educators. At the time, we were known as the North Carolina Normal and Industrial School. 1892, classes begin for our first class of 223 women and 15 faculty who lived and studied in the main building, now known as the Faust Building. The university bell rang out for the first time to mark the opening of school on October 5, 1892. The bell is used today to mark important milestones like new student convocation and graduation. 1893, some of our most long-standing traditions began. The university adopted service as our official motto. It continues to live today through the days of service. The daisy was adopted as the school flower. The colors of the daisy, white and yellow, became the colors of our athletic teams. We added navy in 1987. Now you'll see students on Spirit Fridays showing off their blue and gold pride. The emblem of Minerva started to be linked to our academic traditions, first appearing on diplomas issued in 1893. Since the beginning of our university, Minerva has remained a constant presence on campus. Today, students seeking good luck on exams lay apples at the feet of the Minerva statue, which was erected in 2003 as a gift from the class of 1953. 1909, the first Founders Day was celebrated in honor of Charles Duncan McKeever and the opening of UNCG. We still mark this occasion on October 5th of each year by putting a wreath of daisies at the foot of the McKeever statues on campus and at the state capitol. 1922, Yum Yum began serving its famous ice cream and hot dogs on Spring Garden Street. It's still a staple of students today. 1932, UNCG joined the original state university system alongside UNC Chapel Hill and NC State. At the same time, we became the Women's College of the University of North Carolina. 1956, UNCG's first African-American female students were admitted. 1960, our students took part in the civil rights sit-in movement alongside the ANT4. 1963, the campus became co-ed for the first time, admitting men and changing our name to the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. 1967, as a symbol of courage, the Spartan was selected by UNCG students and coaches as the official mascot of UNCG athletics. Fans at our softball and soccer stadiums can see the statue of the Spartan, which was installed in 2005. 1973, the rock was brought to campus by the Phi Kappa chapter of Alpha Phi Omega and has been a painted message board ever since and new students attend Rock and Welcome Week events like concerts and movies every fall. Also in the 70s, student groups began lighting up our campus with a luminary display for the holidays each December. The tradition has carried over to the other holiday traditions like the lighting of the VAC Bell Tower, which was built in 2005. The Bell Tower rings out with seasonal songs. 1991. UNCG became an NCAA Division I athletic program. Our students are still cheering loud for the Spartans with a let's go G. Also in 1991, the clock tower was built. Students know today not to walk under the clock if they want to graduate on time. During the past 20 years, UNCG has grown to become a research institution that stays true to our roots welcoming all to enjoy the opportunities and excellence that we've achieved in our 125-year history. Led by our Chancellor, Dr. Franklin Gilliam, we invite you to take giant steps into our shared future. What will be your legacy at UNCG? We can't wait to find out. Let's go, G! 
My name is Leroy Magraosha. I'm an information systems and supply chain management major. My coaches, they came over to England and saw something in me that others didn't. So just giving me the opportunity to come here was amazing. And when I came here, I told them that I had a plan to graduate in three and a half years and eventually go professional. So they helped me um, like structure out my classes, summer classes, winter classes. Um, so they've really been um, a lot of back end from the faculty here. G on three, one, two, three. G. Uh, being an international student here, um, it's weird, but it's opened up a lot of cultural experiences. I've met a lot of kids from um, around the world, which is good. I like to learn a lot about different uh, cultures and different nations. Uh, being a student athlete here, um, it's definitely different to England because there's nothing um, set up like this. Um, it's nice to be able to work forward towards an education and get a degree as well as play your sport at the highest level possible. There was definitely days where I wanted to go home because I missed my family, um, but I knew that um, there was a reason for me being here and um, them goals would finally pay off one day. The university as a whole in terms of how they help students to progress to the next level is amazing. Um, they're not here just to make sure that you get a degree or, you know, play for their soccer team. They're here to make sure that you're a better person at the end of it. And I definitely think I've had a lot of growth from the time I came here in 2015 to now. UNC Greensboro, find your way here. UNCG really helped me with my own health journey. I actually had a transplant in the spring semester of 2018 and my professors made sure that I was able to get the extra time that I needed to complete assignments and I was able to graduate on time. Not only did they really care about like me getting my schoolwork done, they actually cared about my well-being through that process. My name is Vicki Witt and I am a senior here at UNC Greensboro. My major is communications. I am a mother of a 27 year old, a mother of a 17 year old, and a grandmother of a seven year old. I'm a wife. I work at the Elliott University Center and the information desk part time in between classes. In 2014, I was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer called triple negative, and I battled that for a year. I did six months of chemo, five surgeries, two blood transfusions, and um, after I beat it, I said, I'm gonna do all the things I never did before. I'm gonna go to college. Vicki Witt, also known as Grandma. One of the things that I valued most at UNCG is the resources that were available to me. The speaking center, the writing center, the math center, TRIO, um, being a first generation student, all the counseling that's available, the library, the media center, things that help me find my way and help me grow as a student. My advice to future students is to not to quit, not to give up. 
that this is a journey and it's gonna be a roller coaster ride. You're gonna have some highs, you're gonna have some lows, you're gonna get stressed, you're gonna be overwhelmed, but there's gonna be some great moments and you need to enjoy the ride. Not to give up, to just put your boxing gloves on and fight through it. After graduation, I plan on coming back to UNCG and I would like to work in admissions or recruitment because I love working with adult transfer students, um, helping them find their way and helping them with the resources that are available. And then I would like to continue my education here and continue communication studies as a grad student. I have always wanted to teach ever since I was a young boy. I've wanted to have a career to where I made a difference. I always wanted to make a difference in people's lives. After the military, I struggled to find a career that I could make a difference. And finally, I decided to go after my dream of teaching. I will be the first male to actually graduate from a four-year college in my family. It is a very high achievement in my family. UNC Greensboro, find your way here. For me, they represent perseverance. It, it takes a lot to have to sit out of the game that I love for over 11 months. And it's a reminder of the work that I put in I was surrounded by support from athletics, but also from my academic advisors, from my professors, everyone constantly asking me, how's my recovery going? And just strangers on campus holding the door open for me, asking me if they can help carry my books. So feeling that support was amazing. I'm also really proud when I look at them because it just shows me the path that I've come at UNCG. UNC Greensboro, find your way here. was a really nice present, a birthday present from a dear friend and it came with a card. It said um, an arrow is only pulled back when it's getting ready to be propelled forward. And I thought that's a message that everybody has to hear because we all go through tough times, but sometimes life just wants to give us a push forward. My name is Michelle. I'm originally from Puerto Rico. I live right now in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm an online student at UNCG, and I'm going to school to hopefully one day become a mental health counselor for children and teenagers. I want them to know that they can be whatever they want to be. I grew up a lot of times feeling like I wasn't good enough or I wasn't working hard enough. Even though I was given everything, my 100%, 4.0 GPA, honor roll, everything, and I always felt like I wasn't good enough that I needed to do better and I want them to know that they can be whatever they want to be, wherever they are. If somebody's considering going back to school or enrolling at UNCG, I would say just go for it. A lot of people will be able to take from you a lot of things, but your education is one thing they'll never be able to take from you. work itself inspires me. I love to do lab work, I love to do analysis, so the fact that I get to do what I love to do every day is motivation in itself. UNC Greensboro, find your way here. Hello Spartans, I'm here in the Atlanta airport heading to New York City to volunteer as a nurse in the Mount Sinai Queens Hospital. Just wanted to give a shout out to UNCG for supporting me on this. We are not able to be in clinicals in our nurse anesthesia program and so I wanted to go there and help and uh, prayers for all the people that are going through this and especially the, the very sick ones. Um, go Spartans!
being able to do research as a pre-nursing student here is something that I think is really unique. Here at UNCG and with the Honors College, they were here to support me when I said, you know what, I'm interested in the archives. I'd like to go back and look at history. And I had someone behind me the whole time saying, you know what, that's a really good idea. We support you. Getting support from the university and getting a taste of what my future career is going to be like has been really rewarding. So a long time ago, when I was 14, I was outside playing basketball in a cul-de-sac, and I noticed a family to my right, and they were using their hands to speak to their son. So being 14, I'm curious, I introduced myself, and I said, well, ma'am, you know, why are you using your hands? And she said, well, my son, he's deaf. He was born without his auditory nerve, so he uses sign language to communicate. I was fascinated. I was like, oh, use your hands to communicate? Cool. So fast forward to I'm like 20, I've hit rock bottom. I mean, there's nowhere to go but up. You know, I uh, got a job tutoring in New Hanover County School System, fell in love with my students. Like, they're just morphing balls of like, energy and greatness all jumbled into one. And I said, oh, I could be a teacher. Well, what kind of teacher could I be? And I remember the little boy who was four when I was 14 and I was outside playing basketball. So I was like, oh, deaf education. So UNCG was the only program in North Carolina that was a top program. So that's why I came to UNCG. That's how I got into teaching. I've been involved with the Greensboro Deaf community for, for about four years now. I've served as a coordinator for interpreters um, during a worship service for children. I've served as a deaf-blind SSP interpreter for um, people who are deaf and blind who still need access to the world that goes on around us. So. That's pretty much, you know, my community impact. And of course through teaching. I've been all throughout surrounding counties, Guilford, Randolph, uh, Asheboro City Schools, so lots of community engagement that way. The vibe at UNCG is the best. It's just the vibe of opportunity, like the hustle and flow. Like everybody is grinding, everybody is working hard to get to their dreams. Where's the coolest part? The professors are about that too. Like they have not forgot what it was like to be an undergraduate student. So as they see us, you know, working hard, they're meeting us halfway like, okay, where do you want to go? Let's help you out. So it's it's just like everybody's on the path to success at UNCG. And there's like no competition. It's all like family at UNCG. Like you're succeeding, we're all succeeding. There's enough room for everybody to succeed. Hello class of 2020, my name is Shruta Gatlin, class of 2002. 
As the president of the Alumni Leadership Board and on behalf of 120,000 alumni, we welcome you to our alumni family. You got here with vision and with focus. And although this is not how you saw your special day, know that we're with you, we're proud of you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hello, fellow Spartans. Just wanted to say on behalf of the International Program Center, congratulations on your big accomplishment. We're really proud of you. And as you go out into the world, I really encourage you to be curious and not just seek out answers, but ask lots of questions. So again, congratulations. Congratulations, Spartans, class of 2020. Welcome to the alumni family. We are so proud of you and excited to welcome you into this amazing network of Spartans. We know that this has been an unprecedented semester, but I believe that that means that you all are an unprecedented class. Welcome again, and here's to 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is Dr. Rios. Uh, I graduated from uh, UNCG in 2014, just like yesterday, but this time I want to congratulate you and wish you the very best uh, on your graduation and uh, go Spartans! Class of 2020, my name is Beth and I'm an English alum from 2014 and 2017. Just wanted to give you guys a shout out to say, go forth and do great things. We've got your back. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're all so proud of you. We can't wait to see all the amazing things that you're going to accomplish. A little tip for you, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Live, laugh, and enjoy life. Hope to see you at homecoming. Hello, UNCG class of 2020. My name is Laura Hellings. I am calling in from Ewing, New Jersey, uh, class of 2014. Congratulations, graduating is huge, and I know that you are all so proud of yourselves. Um, just remember that whenever you are able to make it back to UNC Greensboro to walk under the clock tower, you deserve it. Congrats. Hi, I'm Vivian Dennis, class of 85. Congratulations on being part of the world's best nursing program. As a professional, you will take care of those patients who fail, fall, and break, as well as rise, heal, and overcome. So make your mark. To the class of 2020, which includes my daughter, Danielle Zerpolo, this 2019 grad congratulates you. Spartans forever. Hi, class of 2020. This is Camila Bulgar. I am an alumni from the class of 2006, and I'm also a current uh, PhD student at UNCG. And I just wanted to say congratulations. And to all of you out there that identify as Latinx, Latino, immigrant students, you did it. We're all so proud of you, and I wish you the best for whatever is to come for you after college. And especially shout out to my brother, Benjamin Pulgar, who is graduating uh, class of 2020 as well. Congratulations all. Greetings, graduating class of 2020. My name is Drake Kwan Lee and I am a former Spartan of Promise. I just wanted to create this video to give you a congratulations and a big shout out on your accomplishments. Know that we here at UNCG are proud of you and we know that you will do well in your journey that is to come. Congratulations again and a piece of advice that I would give you is that delay is not denial. Um, you have done a great job in earning your degree and we will continue to celebrate you now and in the months to come. Take a bow, congratulations, go Spartans. Hey Spartan class of 2020, from the class of 2009 to you, congratulations. You did it, the best is yet to come. Hello class of 2020, Ayana Cord here from the class of 2019 and Gianni, coming to you from Cary, North Carolina, wishing you guys a happy graduation. Super excited that you guys have finally completed such a big journey in your life. And I know for a fact that you will go on to doing amazing things in your careers. Remember this, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? There's no better time than the present. On behalf of the UNCG alumni at At Next Life, felicidades. Spartan, clase de 2020. Our advice for you all is to apply to a job even if you think that you don't meet all the requirements. The most that they can say is no. Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I graduated in the fall of 2018 and I am here to congratulate the class of 2020. So congratulations, you guys. If there was a tip that I could give you, it would be for you to not be so hard on yourself because you get to choose what kind of adult you want to be. And with that being said, good luck to everyone and congratulations again. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. You made it and you are now a Spartan alumni. 
I would like to leave you with a tip and that's spend less than you make. It's the key to financial success post-graduation. You got this. Bye. Find your way here. Find your way here. Find your way here. To a community of people guided by the wisdom of a goddess and the spirit of a warrior. At UNC Greensboro, we transform lives every day. Every day. On campus, in our hometown, our home state. And around the world. Start with excellence. Find your passion, your purpose, your inspiration here. Through research and teaching, scholarship and service. Competing for championships, and seizing our moments. We welcome every spark, just as they are, just as we are. Just as I am. I am. I am. We start with excellence. And after graduation, we excel, we achieve, we make an impact. Find your wow, your breakthrough, your aha moment, your pride, your story here. By being true to our core, we have earned the right to say, we are the best at what we do. We are. We are. We are UNC Greensboro. A national leader in a thriving city. Right here in the heart of North Carolina. Find your way. Find your way. Find your way here. Hello, UNCG class of 2020. I'm Lauren Holt. I'm one of the new cast members on Saturday Night Live, but I'm also a graduate of UNCG, class of 2013. Now, I know this is not how you imagined you'd be celebrating your graduation. If it was, you'd either be a psychic or a psycho. But if anyone knows anything about achieving something you've been working towards for years, only to have it happen in 2020, it's me. I always dreamt about my first time walking into 30 Rock and being in my first sketch on SNL, and it definitely never involved PPE or getting a cotton swab shoved into my brain every day. But don't let all the 2020-ness take away from this tremendous achievement. So I know a lot of you are going into the workforce in a field for which your degree was tailor-made, and there are some of you, like me, whose degree will be useless in your chosen profession. But you may have learned a few more things on campus that might prepare you for the future. For example, there was one aspect of UNCG life at which I truly succeeded, nay, thrived, parking tickets. I was great at getting parking tickets. Violations on Spring Garden, toes on Tate Street, boots behind Weatherspoon Art Museum. <laughs> In fact, I think my parking payments alone paid for the new nursing building. But I'm grateful for all that I learned there because it prepared me for life in Los Angeles. I learned to always look at a parking sign before ignoring it. Now, all jokes aside, I am so honored and it is my privilege to address you all today. And I'm also so excited to be accepting this honorary doctorate from my alma mater and having all my tuition completely refunded. Oh, sorry, I'm just, I got a, I got a text from Chancellor Gilliam. He said, absolutely none of that is happening. All right, well, maybe next time. He said, there will be no next time. All right. Well, anywho, uh, now most 2020 speeches involve newly familiar words and phrases like now more than ever in these trying times, unprecedented, new normal. And honestly, I hate all of them. But there is one new custom in 2020 that I love, and it's how we now show joy, pride, and respect. So I end my speech with this. Congratulations, UNCG class of 2020. Thank you.
say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Good morning. I'm pleased to welcome all of you, family, friends, and of course, most importantly, the graduating classes of May, August, and December 2020 to this commencement ceremony. I want to start by acknowledging the obvious, that we are living in unprecedented times, uh, a new normal, if you will. But because of Lauren Holt, our alumna from Saturday Night Live, I can no longer say these words with a straight face. And no, Lauren, you aren't getting any honorary degrees here today. But, but I know this looks and feels off, certainly to the graduates and your friends and your family, but also to the faculty and staff who have been with you along the way. We'd all much prefer to be in the Greensboro Coliseum celebrating this pivotal time in your lives with you and your loved ones. The energy, the excitement, the pomp and circumstance of a traditional commencement ceremony just can't be replicated in an online format. Yet, here we are. Though we're celebrating your many accomplishments in a much different way, your successes are made more special because you've had to exhibit fortitude and perseverance in circumstances far beyond your control. And you know, different isn't always bad. The good news about going virtual is that it allows for some fun adjustments to the typical format in-person ceremony, and there are tweaks that only could be done in a virtual setting, such as Lauren's message that you just saw. So let me just tease this a little bit and say there are more surprises to come. So hang in there with us. But your virtual presence here today represents the culmination of years of hard work, commitment, resilience. Your dedication and your drive have brought you to this moment, and you deserve every accolade coming your way. When it's safe to do so, when we can get together again, we look forward to inviting the class of 2020 back to campus. Congratulations. Greetings. As chair of the UNCG Board of Trustees and as a graduate of this fine institution, it is my pleasure to welcome you, the class of 2020, to the broad and accomplished network of Spartan alumni. I echo the Chancellor's sentiment. We wish we could be together to celebrate 
your successes with your family and with your friends. This is a milestone in your lives, and you have reached it despite the incredibly challenging circumstances you adapted to and overcame. That speaks to the tenacity and perseverance you have developed over the years and refined while you have been at UNCG. These qualities will serve you well as you move forward in your lives. Your Spartan family will serve you well too. We are here for you. Stay connected and be ambassadors for UNCG. Take our values of inclusiveness, civic engagement and service. Take these with you to your new communities. Continue the culture of care that nurtured you while you were here. We know that you will represent us well, and we know that your futures are bright. Stay safe, be well, and once again, congratulations to each of you. Greetings, it is my privilege as the president of the Alumni Leadership Board and on behalf of all the alumni of this great university to welcome the 2020 graduates to our UNCG alumni family. My name is Sharita Gatlin and I am a proud member of the class of 2002. As an alumni and president of the Alumni Leadership Board, I want to share with you a rite of passage which comes with academic achievement and the responsibility all graduates have in preserving value and inspire excellence in the UNC Greensboro degree. Wherever your path may lead you, remember, you will always be a Spartan. Graduation does not end your journey, it's only a milestone. Just as you were told to find your way as a student, immersing yourself in a transformative experience, as new alum, I ask you to find your way. You will represent much of all that is good and great about this university, your past accomplishments, and your future achievements. Your connection to UNC Greensboro is one that will remain with you over a lifetime. How you use those connections. Will you become a mentor? Will you help serve your community? Will you come back and serve as an ambassador of UNC Greensboro? 2020 has brought new and interesting challenges. We had to face a new normal, but what you have accomplished is amazing. Although we're not celebrating this day in person, we, the entire alumni community, are proud of you. So from today forward, you are now part of our history and the great traditions of this university. Congratulations, and we look forward to your future success. Good morning. My name is Hunter Martin, and I'm a May 2020 graduate and the 2019-2020 student body president graduates, family members and friends, faculty and staff. It is an honor to speak and be a part of this wonderful celebration. Today is a great day, a day to celebrate with your loved ones and turn to the so-called real world and start on a journey of a lifetime. First, I will be remiss if I didn't address the events of this year alone. I know this is not the celebration that you envisioned and this is not the graduation that you imagined, but I also know there's a way we can reframe our thinking. We've been challenged greatly this year and this ceremony commemorates our resilience. May graduates, I commend you all for graduating during a height of a global pandemic. I know your last semester at UNCG is not what you expected, but you persevered. That truly shows so much strength and the world is not ready for the power of the May 2020 class. December graduates, I commend you all for pushing through your academic schedule in a not so normal semester. These unprecedented times push you to a new possibility. Your achievements have not gone unnoticed. Here at UNCG, we have so many strong communities that are represented in this graduating class, such as first-generation college students, first-generation Americans, students of color, students of the LGBTQIA community, student athletes, and many more. I applaud you all for your strength in enduring a world that is sometimes not always so kind to you. It is not easy, but once again, you proved them wrong and made it possible. You've continued to pave the way for classes to come 
and I congratulate you for that. I've always been told that the way you handle hardships shows your true grit and capabilities. Today, graduates, we get to celebrate your successful navigation of your college experience. But let us not walk away from this university without remembering the incredible memories that we've all shared here. Thinking back to freshman year, I know I am not the same person who is standing here, and I doubt you are too. As you begin to close this chapter and commence in the next chapter of life, I hope you'll always remember the great challenges, experiences, long nights, and fun that you had here at UNCG. UNC Greensboro is not just a place we spent four or so years. It is a place we can call home. Although this chapter is coming to a close, it's important to remember who you are now and who you strive to become. Let 2020 be remembered not as the year that our senior year was cut short, but the moment when our view of what is possible expanded. Let 2020 be remembered not as a year that we had to self-isolate ourselves, but the moment we came together as people. Let 2020 remind you that you cannot take life for granted. And lastly, remember to follow your passion, take risks, and stay true to yourself. Congratulations to the May and December class of 2020. You did it. Thank you. Greetings, graduates of the UNCG Spartans class of 2020. My hearty congratulations. You have made it and you and your family and friends should be very proud of your accomplishments. My name is Dr. Anthony Chow and as the chair of the general faculty and the faculty senate, I'm also so proud and happy for you. Celebrate your momentous achievement that no one will ever be able to take away from you. Despite our trying times, all of you have continued to move forward and join the ranks of our society as its future leaders, and you are needed more than ever. As you take the next step in your lives, I wish to leave you with these four pieces of advice. One, be good to yourself. Physical and mental health are essential to ensuring you reach your fullest potential, and so be sure to always make time for self-care. Two, follow and lead when called upon for the benefit of others. As a future leader of our society, it is incumbent upon you to help others. As you work hard and prosper in your own careers and lives, make sure to help others in need. Follow when called upon to serve others and take the lead when you feel something that needs to be done is not getting done. Three, my recipe for success that has worked well for me and my family for generations, work extremely hard and be kind and value added to others. All of us want to be successful, to have our dream career, but ultimately accomplishing your goals will mean more and not less work as you progress in your own career paths. The path to success is paved with uncounted hours of work and sacrifice, but the time will pass by quickly if you focus on the great things and accomplish unimaginable things on behalf of the people that you serve both inside and outside of your organizations. No job is too big or small to make a positive difference in someone else's life. Success will quickly follow as you must always remember that you must give to get. Lastly, four, be kind to others. We certainly need a society that more tangibly practices equity, diversity, and inclusion. When you have power over others, will you be just and kind? Will you show grace and mercy to others that report to you when someone is in need, isolated, alone, different, and ostracized, will you offer them a helping hand? I am confident that as a UNCG Spartan, that you will. As showing kindness to others when you don't have to is the greatest act of strength of them all. In conclusion, welcome. As a permanent member of the Spartan family, we are proud, resolute, and committed to making our world a better place, one person at a time. You are now an indelible part of our 129th year as a great university, and I could not be more happy, comforted, and proud of that fact. Thank you. Chairwoman Oakley, Chancellor Gilliam, Provost Coleman, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, families, and most especially our students. 
on behalf of Chairman Ramsey and President Hans, and in my service as a member of the University of North Carolina Board of Governors, I am pleased to bring virtual greetings on this special day. Graduates, whether you finished in May, August, or this month, this is a time to recognize an ending, the completion of your degree, and a time to celebrate a beginning, the commencing of a new chapter in your life. The last several months have been challenging in a way that no class of graduates has had to contend within living memory. But you persevered and reached this point. For that, we celebrate your fortitude and exceptional accomplishments. As a graduate of this university, you now have a responsibility to share your pride in this great institution. The education you have received here has prepared you to be successful in our ever-changing and complex world. North Carolina is a state that makes great investments in its future through its support of the university system. By pairing that investment with your investment, hard work, and sacrifice, you have earned a valuable degree. The experiences learned during your time at UNCG will resonate throughout your life and you are now ambassadors of this great university. We salute your hard work, applaud your accomplishments, and look forward to the many contributions you are sure to bring to our state and nation. Congratulations, graduates. I also have the distinct pleasure of virtually presenting the Board of Governors Excellence in Teaching Award. This award was established in 1994 to underscore the critical role of teaching and excellence across the UNC system. Each year since then, a tenured faculty member from each system campus has been honored with the award in recognition of outstanding teaching, mentorship, and service to education. Winners of the award are those who have had a broad and resounding impact in the classroom and with their students. I am honored to recognize this year's winner for UNCG, Dr. Carmen Sotomayor. Dr. Sotomayor is Professor of Spanish and Associate Department Head of the Department of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. She has devoted her entire 31-year career to teaching the Spanish language and the Spanish cultures to her students in a way that motivates them to step outside their comfort zones and enter into a new world. She does so with patience, insight, and empathy. And in the process, they learn more than to write and speak Spanish. They learn how languages shape culture, art, music, literature, and history. Dr. Sotomayor's influence and energy reaches far beyond her beloved classroom. She is a tireless mentor to young faculty in her department and profession. She advocates for student success and achievement, and she has promoted language and cultural studies through her direction and promotion of international study abroad programs. Dr. Sotomayor, congratulations and thank you for all that you do. Congratulations. Hola. 
first of all, I would like to start by congratulating the December 2020 graduates from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Greetings to you and your family members in this very jo joyful occasion. I am Carmen Sotomayor. I am a professor of Spanish in the Department of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures at UNCG. I joined the faculty in 1987. I migrated from Spain in 1981 to do my graduate work at the university, at Michigan State University. Um, so I, I am a very proud member of the UNCG uh, community, and I want to thank uh, the, uh, the leaders of the university, the staff, and my colleagues, because they have all helped me to actually be the proud recipient of the 2020 Board of Governors of the University of North Carolina Award in Teaching Excellence. So thank you for all of you, because you have all helped me to be here today. Um, and I want to say, that the three principles that have helped me in my profession have been uh, empathy, patience, and lots and lots of passion and hard work. You season that with a good sense of humor and you really have a recipe for life, for everything, for every pursuit that you try. So again, congratulations to all of you graduates of the University of North Carolina, Greensboro. We are very proud of you. Take good care of yourselves. Chancellor Gilliam, I have the honor of presenting Emmy Lou Harris for a degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa. An honorary degree at this university recognizes achievements of extraordinary and lasting distinction in an activity consonant with the mission of the university. Ms. Harris's achievements in music speak to the caliber of talent shaped and honed at UNCG. Before she earned 14 Grammy Awards, earned the Recording Academy's Lifetime Achievement Award, was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and influenced a generation of artists and music lovers like me. Ms. Harris got her start in music at UNCG performing on Tate Street. For these achievements and her humanitarian work, I am really proud to present Ms. Harris as recommended by the faculty and the board of trustees a degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa. Emmy Lou Harris, on the recommendation of the faculty of the university as conveyed by Provost Coleman and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the President of the University of North Carolina, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa, with all its rights, honors, and responsibility. Hi, it's Amy Lou Harris. I'm so sorry that we couldn't have the gathering in Greensboro when I would receive my honorary Doctor of Letters degree, uh, which is something I'm so proud of. I only spent a three short semesters in Greensboro, but they were wonderful times. I made wonderful friendships. Um, I, I learned a lot, but I think I one of the things I learned was that uh, I, I was not you're going to have a career in drama. <laughs> I went on into music instead, but um, uh, I'll always be grateful for the time that I spent in your wonderful school, at the wonderful college. And I enjoyed going back there uh, early in the winter before this pandemic changed the world for all of us. And I'm hoping that I can come back again and uh, um, you can hand it to me in person just the chance to go back and have those wonderful memories, revisit that, that wonderful time in my life. I'm grateful to everyone who made this possible, and I want everyone to stay well and safe so that at some point we can all gather again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Harris. We were thrilled to have hosted you this past January for a special concert on campus. I was there, and it was absolutely fabulous. 
Chancellor Gilliam, I now have the honor of presenting Rhiannon Giddens for a degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa. Ms. Giddens, who is from Greensboro, is an acclaimed singer, instrumentalist, songwriter, and composer who studied voice as a graduate student right here at UNCG. She is a Grammy Award winner and a recipient of both the Steve Martin Prize for Excellence in Bluegrass and Banjo and the MacArthur Genius Grant. The MacArthur Foundation noted when awarding her a, a Genius Grant, and I quote, in her recordings and live performances, Giddens has mined the history of the African American string band tradition, introducing new audiences to the black banjoist and fiddlers whose influences have been left out of popular narratives of the lineage of folk and country music. She is set to star in Porgy and Bess for Greensboro Opera in the new Tanger Center for the Performing Arts in January 2022. For these achievements, I am really proud to present Ms. Giddens as recommended by the faculty and the Board of Trustees a degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa. Rhiannon Giddens, on the recommendation of the faculty of the university as conveyed by Provost Coleman and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the President of the University of North Carolina, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa, with all its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Hi from the Dingle Peninsula in Ireland. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to UNCG, to all of you there for honoring me with this degree, this honorary degree. Um, it just feels so amazing to be recognized uh, by UNCG in this way and it really it really hurts that we can't all be together. I know that everybody graduating would love to have a ceremony in person, and I would love to be there and to celebrate that as well, but um, this is what we have and this is how we're doing it these days. So I'm glad that we at least have the technology to let me say this to you from so, many, so, so far away. This just felt like so incredible to, to be offered this. Um, this distinction and this honor. And I just uh, wanted to offer up a song before I close um, because that's the best way I communicate. I think I'm not the best talker in the world, but I gave it my best shot. Um, just wanted to say how much North Carolina means to me, how much Greensboro means to me and UNCG means to me. So this is a song, it's a sad song, but um, I think given the fact that I haven't been home since January. I don't know when I'm going to be coming home and um, I'm making a great life for myself here in Ireland, but uh, it's, you know, it's been a long time. So this is a song by Alice Gerard and uh, it's called Calling Me Home. Alice Gerard, of course, who lives in North Carolina and is an amazing, incredible musician. Mm -hmm. An old friend lay on his dying bed, held my hand to his bony breast, and he whispered low as I bent my head. Oh, they're calling me home. They're calling. Time is come to sail away. I know you'd love for me to stay, but I miss my friends of yesterday. Oh, they're calling me home. They're calling me. I know you'll remember me when I'm gone. Remember my stories, remember. 
remember my songs I'll leave them on earth Sweet traces of gold Oh, they're calling me home They're calling me home So friends, gather round And bid me goodbye my body's bound, but my soul will fly. My little light shining from the sky. Oh, they're calling me home. They're calling me home. The time is come. Sail away. I know you love for me to stay, but I miss my friends of yesterday. Oh, they're calling me home. They're calling. Thank you all so much and stay safe, be well. Thank you, Rhiannon. We enjoyed very much your concert for UNCG's virtual homecoming and look forward to your performance in Porgy and Bess. I cannot wait to see it in 2022. Hi, my name is Journey Smith, and I am honored to be representing the class of 2020. I would first like to take a moment for a collective sigh of relief. In the simplest of terms, we've made it. However, each and every person has had a not so simple journey to get to this very moment. These past four years have been rough. In fact, the past four plus years can be described in many ways. Some might call it an indescribable journey of self-realization. Some might say it's been a glorious burden. Others might speculate it to be a foundational and pivotal moment in the development of their procrastination skills. But we've all experienced in one way or another, trials, mistakes, L's, and a viral pandemic threatening our ability to walk across the stage. In the simplest of terms, we've had to grow up. But in this growing up, we've been able to make lifelong friends and develop a network of constituents that will help develop our foundational careers. It's all happening so fast, it can be hard to even remember freshman year. Perhaps you were jumping off the walls with excitement on move-in day, or scared because this was your first time away from home, family, and friends you grew up with. We've all had that experience of, oh man, <laughs> this is real, and deciding whether or not skipping that assignment due at 11.59 p.m. would really affect our grades or not. Perhaps you were the overachieving go-getter who readily signed up for all campus organizations, a sorority, or fraternity, went to tutoring like clockwork, and actually did the assigned reading before class. Or... Maybe you were the easygoer, the one who just took it day by day, steadily figuring out their next move, just trying to finesse the system to get things done. Either way, no matter who you are, we've all had the gift of experiencing who we are as college students and what we wanted that person to be like. My hope is that every person sitting here with confidence, because at any point in time, in your darkest moments, that nobody knows about, you could have quit and left. It doesn't matter how long it took you to get to this point. It doesn't matter how many times you fell. It doesn't matter how many odds were stacked against you. What matters is you conquered it. Semester after semester, 
midnight breakfast after midnight breakfast, we conquered. As this chapter of our lives is about to end, and as we begin to turn the page into the unabashed life of adulthood, let us take the time to remember one another and all of the lessons and successes of our time here at the beautiful University of North Carolina at Greensboro. I know for myself that walking down College Ave and relaxing by the fountain has allowed me to see the diversity and inclusion that this campus has been able to foster in various aspects of college life. When going out into the world and creating roots in different cities, states, and countries, let's make it our mission to bring with us the wisdom and compassion we've developed over the years. This life has a funny way of trying to test our resilience. You have to ask yourself, how bad do I want it? If it's worth it, fight for it. We didn't come this far to back down when things get tough or there starts to be some pushback. Continue to push and climb and grow. We live to thrive, not just to survive. Now, as we've been able to distinguish the college version of ourselves from the high school version of ourselves, let me remind you of this age-old secret. Deep down, nobody really expects you to have it all together. If you were someone who were voluntold to apply to college and be a certain kind of student, now is the time for you. Now is the moment to truly be who you are and come fully into the uniqueness and brilliance of what makes you stand out. I implore you to go for that dream job, book that flight, make that work of art, write that book, and do it all for the love and joy of it. And if you're sitting here thinking to yourself that you've totally missed out on this whole get to know me adventure, don't panic. You have grace and time to figure it out and enjoy the ride while you're at it. Four years from now, we won't be the same people we are right now in 2020. In fact, nothing will ever be the same. Let's embrace the comfort in knowing that the only thing that never changes is change itself. May we all change and grow for the better. Let's maintain the love and good vibes that we can muster 490 times every day. And may we understand that this is not the end of the best years of your life, as some might propose, because this class of 2020 will be having the best years of our lives for the rest of our lives. Thank you. Welcome Chancellor Gilliam, Provost Coleman, deans, faculty and staff, loved ones, and fellow graduates. I know this is not the traditional graduation ceremony we expected, but we can still celebrate the hard work that got us to this moment. We should also celebrate the people that were behind us every step of the way, supporting us through the long nights, failures, and triumphs. While we're all at various stages of life and education, our pursuit of obtaining a degree was filled with similar hardships, juggling the workload, managing finances, and wrestling with self-doubt. As everyone is painfully aware, 2020 presented unexpected challenges and unique setbacks. But in this moment, we are virtually gathered to celebrate our sacrifice and perseverance. It feels really strange for me to be speaking to you today. I truly never expected to have an opportunity like this. As many students and faculty in the School of Health and Human Sciences know, we are not accustomed to receiving accolades. Our fields are often considered unimportant, unscientific, or a form of charity. I'll never forget being laughed at during my first professional meeting for being conscious and respectful of how I referred to people with disabilities and their needs. I'm choosing to be optimistic that after everything that's happened this summer, caring for others' well-being will no longer be considered amusing or radical. Empathy, inclusion, and service are not new terms to students in the Department of Community and Therapeutic Recreation. It is the foundation of everything we do. It is central to every collaborative decision we make. 
We assist those with uncontrollable attributes to overcome personal, systemic, and environmental challenges. Working with people with disabilities and chronic conditions provides an opportunity to witness the intersectionality among abilities, race, gender identity, sexual orientation, national origin, and religion. People with disabilities are complex individuals, just like all of us. Many of us tackle issues with a whatever it takes mentality. Our work requires creative problem solving and thick skin. I know the devotion of students in my department is not special. You'd have a difficult time finding a graduate student that entered their program in search of individual fame, fortune, or success. Dedication to continued learning is a humble action. It demonstrates the depth of one's passion toward their field of study, as well as an interest in making a meaningful impact. Our graduate programs have challenged us to embrace complexity and nuance and to conceptualize the information we are given. But now it's time to get out there and put those skills to work. To quote the high women, if we want a garden, we're gonna have to sow the seeds. If you want to create a better business, system, or community, you're gonna have to put in the effort. By earning this degree, you've already begun to make your corner of the world a more informed and just place. In the midst of this moment of reckoning, I encourage you to act out of compassion in a manner that values and elevates all humans. By being persistent in your efforts to speak up and speak out, no matter how small or insignificant the situation may seem, we can erode the harmful norms that continue to affect our communities. I speak from experience while working as an adaptive and inclusion coordinator at Kernersville Parks and Recreation and the town's ADA coordinator. The same people that laughed at me or told me I was a nuisance now seek my perspective because they have witnessed the positive results of our inclusive practices. It will be challenging and people will dismiss you, but do not get discouraged. Find opportunities to serve your community and more importantly, service to those within your community. Even if you are not in a field that directly serves others, little instances of compassion or understanding can make a big difference to those that struggle with the things you don't even realize. Intentionally practice expanding your awareness in order to spot those times where even a small act of kindness, patience, and flexibility can make a world of difference. You and your community will be better for it. Thank you UNCG, the School of Health and Human Sciences, and the Department of Community and Therapeutic Recreation for the extraordinary opportunity to address my fellow graduates and to be a proud member of the Spartan family. Congratulations, graduates, and good luck as you begin this next chapter of your life. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize all degree candidates and to authorize Chancellor Gilliam to confer the degrees. Speaking for the Board of Trustees of this university and acting under the delegation of powers by the Board of Governors of the University of North Carolina, I authorize you, Chancellor Franklin Gilliam, Jr., to confer the appropriate degrees upon the candidates approved by the faculties. Today, UNCG will award approximately 4,938 earned degrees in the following categories. 3,719 baccalaureate degrees, 954 master's degrees, 17 specialist in education degrees. 231 of these degrees will be awarded to international students. And just to be clear, these figures represent students who are completing their degrees in May, August, and December of 2020. Chancellor Gilliam, as Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate School, I have the honor to present and to recommend for the appropriate degree the candidates who have satisfied the requirements for the master's degree. Acting on the recommendation of the graduate faculty 
and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the President of the University of North Carolina, I hereby confer the degree upon those of you who have met the requirements for the master's degree for which you have been recommended with all of its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations to each of you for your outstanding achievements. Chancellor Gilliam, I have the wonderful honor to present and recommend for the appropriate degree these candidates who have satisfied all of the requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Acting on the recommendation of the faculty as conveyed by Provost Coleman and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the President of the University of North Carolina, I hereby confer the degree upon those of you who have met the requirements for the baccalaureate degree for which you have been recommended with all rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations to each one of you for your outstanding achievements. In addition to the degrees that are recognized today, we also wish to recognize the May 2020 recipients of the Integrative Community Studies Certificate. The University of North Carolina at Greensboro has pioneered this innovative post-secondary certificate program of study, also known as Beyond Academics, for young adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Established in 2007, Beyond Academics is North Carolina's first and only four-year university certificate program of study. The holistic, experiential model promotes personal growth and development within a richly diverse and inclusive environment found here at UNCG. Graduates have demonstrated their capabilities and gained skills through the program's curricular focus areas so that students are living independently, attaining employment of their choice, and have meaningful engagement in the community. Congratulations to our May 2020 graduates of Integrative Community Studies, your proud families and friends, and the staff and faculty who supported your experience. I'd like to add my congratulations as well. The Beyond Academic students are an amazing part of the campus community. They've been Chancellor's Ambassadors. I see them at events and games cheering on our teams. And their unbridled enthusiasm, even during the time of the pandemic, has been nothing short of inspiring. Congratulations to these students. We have come now to that long-awaited milestone in our lives, the moment where we are no longer students but graduates of UNC Greensboro. Tradition requires that before graduation, the tassel be worn on the right-hand side of the mortarboard. After graduation, as a symbol of our new status as degree holders, the tassel is worn on the left. As representative of the graduating classes of 2020, I am privileged to lead you in turning our tassels from right to left signifying our status as graduates of UNCG. Please join me in turning our tassels. Congratulations, graduates. Graduates, you are now officially Spartan alumni. Now more than ever, we will count on you to provide the leadership, the vision, and the commitment to affect change for our local and global communities. You are our future, and I'm supremely confident that you will be more than ready to meet the challenge. Remember, you don't begin this journey on your own, even if it looks or feels that way, even virtually. You've joined a distinguished group of alumni from this fine institution. They and we stand ready to support and encourage you as you find your legacy. So don't underestimate the power, the value, and the importance of your support system. You found your way here to UNCG. You found your way to graduation through a pandemic, through social unrest. And you'll find your way onward and upward in the months and years to come. 
Know that I and the rest of the Spartan family look forward to seeing all that you accomplish in the future. We also look forward to seeing you back on campus, in fact, when we can all get together again, at the first in-person homecoming we can hold. Great event when you're an alumni. It'll be a special gathering, and we'll have something special there for you, our newest alumni. Until then, congratulations, class of 2020. UNC Greensboro graduates of 2020, you did it. You put in that work, go out and make a difference. You understand me? This is Big Snoop D O Double G. You got one life to live, so make it count. A new adventure begins now. Yeah, right now that you've reached this milestone, we can't wait to see what you're gonna do next. Let's go, G. UNC Greensboro 2020. It's me, Kate Flannery, Meredith from the office. This is a special message for UNC Greensboro graduates of 2020. A new adventure begins now that you've reached this milestone. You did it. You put in the work. So we can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Go out, make a difference. You have one life. Make it count. Let's go, G. Okay, what have I got? Oh, yeah, for you guys. Way to go. That's what she said. Hello, UNC Greensboro graduates of 2020. It's Erin Andrews. Congratulations! You did it. You put in the work. You dealt with the crap. You succeeded. You handled yourself in this crazy, crazy year and time. Uh, first of all, I hope all of you are healthy, you're safe, you're, you've managed to stay sane. You had to, to graduate through this nonsense. Let's be honest, if you can do this, you can do anything. All the adversity you guys had to deal with, uh, who knows? I mean, if you had to do all your classes online, if you were able to even return to campus, whatever. Let's just know it was a grind. And I can't imagine trying to graduate, earn my degree, with all of this stuff going on. So you did it. And that says a lot about all of you and all of your efforts and uh, your determination and how smart you are and how you're able to just double task, triple task with all of this nonsense going on. So you're awesome. You're my heroes. And thank you for paving the way and go and make a difference. Go nail it. Uh, you know, you have one life make it count and don't listen to people like me that say weird cliche things like that, but uh, you guys can do it. If you were able, like I said, to deal with all this, you can do anything that you uh, you put your mind to because you got the you got out of school, you got you know your degree and you were able to handle all this crap on the side. Uh, go make the world a better place for all of us. We're counting on you and we appreciate all your effort. Can't wait to see what you do next. Let's go G, take care, bye guys. Hey, to the UNC Greensboro graduates of 2020, you did, you put in the work. Get out there and make a difference, man. You only got one life, live it to the fullest, man. Take God with you, stay faithful, man. Never give up, hang in there. When it gets tough, get hard. Don't forget to pray, you understand? Let's go G, yeah.